plants. Every single person needs them, but for those of us that love them, we want them to grow bigger, better, faster, and live for longer. But how do we do this? Karen? Yeah? I need your advice for something. Yeah, what? I'm a bit worried about the plants. Why is that? What are you doing? Having a bit of chicken? <laughs> I, I need What's to, wrong? I'm a bit worried for them because it's really cold, it's really windy. And you know when it rains, the rain washes away seeds and stuff off of the plants? Yeah. So I was googling ways to obviously grow your plants better. And one thing that people keep recommending is to get a greenhouse. Mm. So what do you think about that? That's a great idea. Why do you think that? Well, I think because the, the plants need somewhere warm. Right now it's freezing. And something to protect them from the weather. Plus, Reggie, Reggie. the dog, <laughs> won't be able to eat it. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I just think, check, check with your mum first. Why? See if she's happy to have a greenhouse in the back. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask her and see what she thinks as well, if she thinks it's even a good idea. Yeah, just find out. Yeah, I gotta ask her. Yeah. Thanks. Mum? Yes. <laughs> I need your advice. I was googling ways to grow the plants really well. Yeah. And one way was to get a greenhouse. Okay. So what do you think about that? I think you should just get one. Do you, are you fine with that? Well, I think as long as it fits on the, on the back patio, that'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, get one. So it's fine then? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay. I'll go research. All right. Thanks, mom. Alright guys, so guess what? I found a greenhouse. This greenhouse is not too far from me. It's about half an hour drive. I cannot wait to actually put our plants in it and see how they react. And we're gonna go pick this thing up tomorrow. So it's pretty dirty, so I need to give it a good clean and we have to disassemble it, but that shouldn't take too long. Maybe it will, but we'll find out guys. So let's go, I'm, I cannot wait. So the next day we got there with all the gear and no idea as to how to take the greenhouse down. It took us a while, but we finally figured out how to take the glass clips off. And then we figured out how to disassemble the greenhouse walls without taking everything apart. And just like that, in a few hours, we were already back home taking everything out of the truck. Do you think this is gonna be easy or difficult to uh, Time consuming. Okay. Time consuming. <laughs> And this actually did take way longer than we expected. Our game plan was simple. First, we had to clean all of the framing, which was surprisingly dirty. It was covered in dust, spider webs, and what looks like concrete chunks. I'm not too sure. However, it wasn't too bad. After we got the frame up, we would then clean the glass, put it back into the frame, and then move all of our plants into the new home. So if you're excited to watch the growth, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right guys, so we do have a slight predicament. If you guys remember, I did speak about the clips that hold the greenhouse glass in place. Now the problem we have with them is that they're all rusted and they basically fall apart as soon as you try to put them onto the greenhouse. So we're gonna try and use as many as we can that are in good shape and hopefully, hopefully, we have enough left over to actually finish with the greenhouse. I had planned to do a couple panels each day until the weekend. But what, what have you done instead, Karen? Washed them all. She just washed every single one today. 
So looks like I'm going to be putting up a whole bunch of them tonight as well. Let's get started. With big thanks to Karen, spending literally hours washing all of the glass panes, we had finally got the greenhouse up and running. It was already warmer in the greenhouse, so warm that I could already imagine all the plants in here, growing well with all the extra warmth, no rain splashing the soil around, wind not causing the pitcher or flowers to fall over, all until we ran out of those damn clips. So we went out to try and get some more. We weren't able to find any W clips, eh, sweetie? Zero. So we either have to order online or we have to go to another place tomorrow when they're open. So the greenhouse is nearly done. But until then... Fish and chips. And so Karen got fish and chips and I got the clips the next day to finish off the panels. They were just little glass triangles, but a big part of a dream I have. To create a beautiful garden of carnivorous plants to share with you guys. And if you want to see that future become a reality, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video. But now, it was time to see how the plants would react to their new homes. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to before the new. Rewind, take it out of cue. Innocence can be a young man's game. Stand up for the hall of shame. I wish I knew. So it has now been a week or two, I've got a haircut, but I can confidently say the plants absolutely love it in here. Even though it's summer, it's still overcast, very, very cold, but the plants are still getting warm every day because of the greenhouse effect. Now I still need to get some more benches or something in here. We tried a couple different things. We had put this outdoor table in here, which we were no longer using, but unfortunately it didn't last very long. We ended up selling it like two days later. We also had this amazing camping table, which would have been perfect, but it was just too long, sadly. So in the end, we settled on using these easels, which are pretty unstable. So if you live in England and know of a cost-effective way to get some benches, please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to follow along in the journey, please subscribe and don't forget to leave a like.